Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Let's get it. The Phase On View Podcast, man. Episode 24. Episode 324. Episode 324. Man, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the Phase On View Podcast, man. Thursday, 5 p.m. All right? You know, just to change location on y'all for a few. Okay? Man, we're going to talk about it, bro. Snowfall finale. One of the greatest shows ever, bro. Man. One of it the might be, it might be top five, man. Might be top five, bro. Might be top five. Bro, I feel, I feel like they entered that top five. They, they almost stumbled in that season, season five last season, but now nah, they still on pace to be in top five. All right, so we're going to talk about, we got a lot on the agenda. My brother Hugh, you already know we in the building. All right, talk about the fight of the year thus far. Garcia versus Tank. Okay, we're going to talk about, like we said, Snowfall finale. All right, which should be free, but really isn't free or is not free at all. And the infamous Would You Rather, okay? And I also have a, a special question for you in, in regards to hip-hop and rap. It's been a conversation we've been talking about lately. All right, so let's get right into it, bro. The fight of the year, man. Tank versus Garcia. I feel like the result is what was going to happen. Yeah, and Tank called it in seven, too. He called it in seven. I had it going maybe eight to 12. Eight, this, it, between eight and 12. In the barbershop talk, I had it going five to seven. Just because, bro, I just feel like Garcia and Tank, two different fighters, and I see one being an internet sensation, and he, he got his claim to fame from the internet, not saying he hasn't beaten people, but we know him from TikTok, internet, YouTube. Tank really about that. Like, yeah. Tank is really about that, and... And he, he is the face of boxing. And I feel like yeah. he's been the face of boxing because if you think about... It's crazy how he doesn't do title fights. And, bro, and guess how many fights have Tank has faced, like, premier fights in the last, what? Yeah. Two to three And, yeah, years. he doesn't do title fights. I noticed that. Like What, title fights? Yeah, like, what's up with that? I'm not I'm not sure. I'm not sure. And that was a title fight. It has been title bouts. He's been fought. He just fought Bar, uh, uh, Barrios in, what? Because um, Haney got it right 140. now. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know Haney got it as well, too. Like... I feel like what happened yeah. was going to be the result. I feel like, one, I think a lot of people were surprised to look at Ryan's record because they thought he was just like a, you know, square go the mm-hmm. distance guy. Like, nah, that dude, he's 23 and over 19 knockouts. Correct. So, like, he, he, he's not, he knocks, he, he mostly knocks dudes out. But at the same time, I don't think he had ever been hit by somebody like Tank. Exactly. And exactly. I think that was going to be it. And I think, I think Tank showed him that in round two when Ryan tried to get aggressive mm-hmm. and Tank hit him with that, that quick shot. Correct. It yeah. sat him down. It's levels to I think. I think Ryan knew, okay, I got to switch my strategy up this mm-hmm. time. Like, and I'm not saying Garcia, who he faces, is amateur, but also, when you, it's levels to this. Yeah. And then you can't st- throw the same uh, left hook four times in a row and expect uh, a good fighter not to count on it. Like, yeah. in, tank, in Tank Power, he count on you, it can be it can be night-night. And we've seen yeah. that in that, that on there every Tank fight. Yeah. Because Tank, he, he can, and that's the thing, he's durable. He can take hits. Yeah. And that... That's if, his thing. He, t- wants, he wants you to hit him. If you if you going to continue to hit him, he and he has good defense, but if you catch some shots, flush shots, just trust me, that counter punch yeah. is something you don't want to deal with. That's like, I was like one of the things he talked about with him. So he said, I think he did it with Gillian Waller. He was like, I think I, I want you to hit me at least a couple of times. I got to see. Mm-hmm. see. I need see to see. Really yeah. And, it, and, and throughout the fight, Garcia only hit him with one flush uh, shot. Yeah. And it didn't really affect him. That was the same round that he hit him in the living. I Got thought, him. only reason I thought Tank would have trouble is because, you know, um, Ryan had that reach. That, that and then Ryan had to reach on him. So it's like, I was like, I want to see how Tank figured, finds a way to get inside. Because mm-hmm. Ryan was down, Ryan was definitely throwing the jab a lot, which was smart. You know, I got the reach. Mm-hmm. I can connect this easier. You know, from a boxing perspective, right. it's like, but I think, I think he tried to do too much, mm-hmm. which allowed Tank to, you know, um, which, you know, obviously Tank had a plan. Correct. And like, you could tell he had a plan by the way he was fighting because it seemed like he wasn't throwing that many punches at first. No, but you like could Garcia tell Tank lost. was like sizing him up. Garcia lost straight, strictly off of not staying to the game plan. Like you yeah. sticking to the game plan. Like you said, throwing the jab, using your reach as an advantage because it was very much so, you, you, can, you can tell on screen. Usually you can't tell the reach. His reach was 170, some 78 to 171. Yeah. So, and you could tell the reach, but also it was kind of like not working in his benefit. Yeah. Because he didn't know how to time up certain punches. He was like going over top of Tank head most of the fight. Yeah. And then with his jab, not stepping into the jab, uh, after after he felt the power of a Tank, he, you could tell he, after that second round, the, the fight was pretty <clears> much over. Yeah, you could tell it was a different fight from the second round. 
It was it was a good fight though. It was a good it, it was a good fight. I wouldn't say disappointing. I felt like what happened in the fight was was actually yeah. ultimately going to happen. I'm just glad it's over. I got tired of I got tired of both of them running their mouth. It was mostly Ryan because Ryan was the one that wanted the fight and he got exactly. it. Exactly. I was just like, all right, for fine. Two years. And we know it's all like for show business. Right. So I'm like I'm just I'm glad that it's finally over. Like all right, so now we can get back to tank fighting. Like whoever sure. whoever's next, maybe I, Haney or Shakur, yeah, whoever's she, next. I feel like Haney and Shakur definitely should be. Because I think next Shakur opponents. is I think Shakur and Haney are about to fight. And if I and whoever wins that fight, probably fights tank. for sure. And I feel like they they kind of mono a mono. I'll give Shakur a little bit of the edge if they were to fight because he he has more of the aggression uh, than than Haney. But also, I don't feel like, just me personally, I don't feel like neither of them are ready for Tank. Yeah. I'm just saying, strictly off of what we've seen, and we're talking about power, and they faced each other, they had their little bouts, you know, they they do their sparring, but in a real situation, I don't see a lot of people taking punches from Tank. People sleep on Tank because they think he's just a knockout artist. And he's like, not. He's not, he can box. Mm-hmm. He can He can box. For sure, he can definitely. But I don't think he's like Wilder. Oh, I think Deontay Wilder. I think he. I think Deontay Wilder's thing was just strictly just his power, like his knockout power. Yeah, like I think that's why he couldn't. Be, that's why he couldn't be Fury. Cause mm-hmm. it was like Fury knew how to how to fight, and like Fury could get up. Like because right. Wilder put him down a couple of times, but he got back up. Most guys don't get up when Fury hits them. And that and that tank fight just displays how how smart he is, yeah. bro. We I ain't see the liver shot on on like when it was in in real time. I didn't see it. When he was backing up, I'm like, why is he backing up? And he just dropped to one knee. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's I, a body I, shot. You I saw it. It was quick what I saw. And then, the, and then the um the replay, he he got him right in the upper rear. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah. And then because, and also it was a lot of clips going online, like right before the fight of like Ryan Garcia leaving himself open when he's sparring and doing certain stuff. Don't you know when you spar, you still have to, yeah. you know, he just like just, you just unleashing, like right, unleashing and throwing the hook. And I think that's how he got caught is when he was throwing a hook and because Tank was underneath yeah, here and then he came from up he came from under he came from up he came from a squat position and caught him like yeah well, that, I don't want no liver shot to make I know yeah, that, his nose is bleeding but yeah if that the dude, liver shot made his nose bleed I say All right. yeah that dude yeah, Tank pack it's, Tank it's Tank bro. packs a wall up bro it's different bro yeah that that dude he he, he got like weight he got weight behind his gloves for sure. Like, I ain't, that wasn't a, that wasn't a disappointment. No, nah, it wasn't disappointing at all. Like I said, I'm happy. I got paid for real, for real. Cause I, <laughs> I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, I don't see what a lot of people see. I know a lot of people just like to cheer for the other side. Tank yeah, so many like guys. Those. I don't know. It was so many guys. I was looking. I'm like, bro, you can't bet against Tank, bro. Right now, like you just can't do it. It's like betting Sorry. against Tom Brady. Like Sorry. you can't bet against it's Tank. For sure. Yeah, like, he's like he, for sure. He's proven. Time. Like, but I feel like he. Had, I feel like he's become one of those fighters. Like such as like Floyd, that they're becoming so good and great that you kind of you have haters out there. They want they want to see his demise. That's kind of what the build up is. It's like, oh, can this fighter actually beat this person? Mm-hmm. Nah, bro, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like this man could really. I'm being honest. He could really retire undefeated. He's that type of good potentially. Yeah, like, he's, he's okay. down the line. He's, he's already. Okay. He's only 20, he's 28. And he's now 28 and 0, 27 knockouts, bro. His resume. He's he's OD. His resume. So man, moving forward, man. This talk of the town. Snowfall, man. Season finale. Huh. Lord have mercy, man. So much happened in just within this season. I feel like it made up a lot for last season. Yeah. But I feel like Snowfall, bro. Like we did, like you said, pre part is top top five, bro. It enters that top five conversation. Yeah, it's up, it's up there. Like it's it's up there. I always have Wyatt number one. Um. But like after that, I, I don't I don't know. Snowfall up there, bro. They gave six very, amazing seasons. Very top tier, very top tier. I I didn't even start off watching it because I wasn't uh at the time I wasn't really big on FX shows. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know if FX had good shows. Like I didn't like I I didn't watch American Horror Story or Sons of Anarchy or none of that. Right. Um, I think I did start watching Atlanta. So Atlanta was like the first FX show I watched, and it wasn't until the pandemic. But people started telling nah, me to watch Snowfall. Snowfall. Cause exactly. before, like, I didn't really hear Snowfall people talking about it like that. Snowfall. Like I knew it was on, but I never, I never, it it never, I never it was out, interested. It, bro, it, it came out years ago. Nah, like, it came out in 2018. And me and Deshaun had mentioned before. My father, bro, shout out to pops. He really put us onto the show. It was yeah. telling us what about like before, cause we was watch. That was when we was really into power. Yeah. Like 2018, Ghost and Tommy was. Yeah. Here. He was like, look here, this Snowfall. Yo, and ever since then, Snowfall. Yeah, like, that was my. I think because I think nobody was really talking about it at the time, so I never really tuned in. I never. Right. S- 
But I think around 2020, people started telling me, yo, you got to watch stuff. I got to watch stuff. I was like, all right, we in the, we in the house. Mm -hmm. Cool. That's no fault. I was like, oh, snap. And like, all right. With this, yeah. with, this, with this last season, I like how everything, and rest in peace to John Singleton, a legend. Facts. And I feel like everything came together in this in this uh, season finale. Bro, It's we, we've talked about it throughout the season, but these last two episodes, it kind of put everything full circle of where it started to where it ended. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, a lot of people up in arms about uh, Sissy Franklin mother, like, at, like the episode before that, that could have been a season finale. You know, shooting Teddy and Franklin just being up in arms, man. Because hey, I just lost thirty-seven million, and and really ultimately the the seventy-three million that Teddy owes me. But I I got it to thirty-seven million, and she chose to a hey, to sacrifice everything over, and and it was it was bothersome to me, bro, because it was over Alton, who really y'all didn't yeah. even have a good rapport relationship with. You feel me? Like, and it was just a, a a moment where she just snapped, and I I feel like, bro, it was kind of I want I wouldn't say it was selfish, but I could understand I understand like in a sense both sides. I understand that Franklin he was getting he was getting to a point where he the power and money and control was was overbearing. He couldn't even look at himself in the face no more because he was turning into another animal over that money, bro. Like, yes, he earned that. But also, you got to understand. Went through a lot, too. A lot yeah. happened. And a lot happened. You got to understand who that was with. So, I I get Sissy part as well, too. But his witch's mother. But look here. <laughs> if I'm Franklin, bro, y'all was with me during all this. You know what I'm saying? I built this empire. Don't act like you wasn't a part of this empire. Yeah, don't, don't, don't act, act different like, now. Don't act like. different now. You was a part of this. You you, you knew all the various about it. We done got real estate. We done built the whole empire. Like, I'm not even trying to sell drugs anymore. Fact, I'm actually trying to set up for for uh, for for generations to where you are good, my family is good. Set up Leon, and a lot of the a lot of the blame, bro, for a lot of this season and just in general should go to Louis. That's where yes. everything shifted. Louis was the same person season three, season four, telling Franklin like, I don't want to part of this no more. I, I I'm good. I don't want y'all. I don't want Jerome around it. None of that. So you wanted to take the power and control from Franklin, and that's what kind of got all this stuff. Uh, where we at yeah. now with, with Teddy, bro? For, so. for me, it was just, I mean, there's usually, I mean, unless you get out at the right time, there's usually no happy endings in their life. Mm -hmm. So if, as much as people wanted to see a happy ending, it just wasn't realistic. But for me, I think the hardest part for me to watch, um, which is also great writing, was just the seeing literally everybody that Franklin tried to build up had a part in tearing him down mm -hmm. in some way or something. Like, obviously, he did some things on his, to, to himself, but at the same time, it was like, dang, man, like, everybody, you know, that, that Franklin tried to, like, help, had a part in terms of first thing, you, go, you start with peaches, Correct. taking five Thank million, God. dipping, you know, you know, his dad growing the concerts all of a sudden, mm -hmm. was it before peaches, but, like, there was that, freaking, um, Louie, like, doing it, that was very, that was really underhanded what she did, because it's like, I'm not even trying to sell drugs anymore, but, like, you could, like, you're not going to help me. You're not right. gonna help me, right. like get my like. You're just gonna right. leave me out to dry, and then it's like, you know, even with even the thing with um, then his mother like doing that, like you couldn't wait ten seconds, like I have a like I'm trying to go legit and I have a baby on the way, and you just took away whatever little bit that I had. Then you know, freaking Leon, Leon, Leon threw me off. Leon threw me. Off. I was like, nah, mo, ain't no way. One of my favorite characters. Too, yeah, but like he's still my dog, but like, come on, bro. Nah. He really looked Frank in the eye and said, "I have three mil. No, I don't want to give it to you because Tizzy didn't want you to have it." I'm like, bro, what? Right. Like what? Like like I have a baby. All like Leon, you can't give me something. But my, like that's crazy. But my thing is the sense of entitlement, bro. Yeah. Like, the, the then it got weirder for me because then he was he was gonna let Wanda walk away. I'm like, what are you? What are you like? Right. What are you gonna stay here for and do what? Like what? Like what is like what is this? Then there's V. Like I understand, like, yes, Franklin lost it. He you know, he shouldn't have put his hands on her or nothing like that. He shouldn't have. But to take all his money and dip with she, his kids. She seemed like that from that's, the get-go. That's crazy. That 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 was on brand of her because the whole time we didn't even know where she came from. Yeah. That's what last season threw us because she popped out the sky blue. Yeah, out of nowhere. So out of nowhere. We just knew she wasn't there. So that but, that 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 was that was <laughs> that was heartbreaking. I was like, dang, like real like everybody just going everybody's just gonna do Franklin like that. Sure. Like after after everything, mm -hmm. everybody's just gonna do that to Franklin is watch him like it's like and some of it was pride because when that when she made that deal and dude came to the door, you should have sold that building. Correct. 
He should have sold that building and, for, and, 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 you know, and got what he could get, you know. And then it's like, dang, sis, you're like, if after you shoot, after you shoot, Frank, after you shoot Teddy, you're not going, you're not going to give me the house? You're not going to help me at all? Right. You're just not going to, like, mm-hmm. it just, it just sucked to watch and everybody, blew, like, just leave Franklin out to dry. I was like, me, bro, that's crazy. About, about the mother, about sissy, it's just like, you show Leon this so much respect and, and just like, okay, well, of of certain a certain type of honor to uh, Leon, as if he wasn't doing nothing before. Of as, as Leon wasn't a kingpin, as Leon didn't just get away from shooting a, uh, from shooting and killing a, uh, a child, bro. He's yeah. still in these same neighborhoods, walking around like everything good, and then he just he went somewhere else, trying to flee from the life, and you came back doing the same thing. So sissy holding him in high regard and looking at fr- and looking fr- and frowning upon Franklin. I didn't like that. I didn't like how sissy and kind of Leon like frowning upon uh, Franklin. Yes, I get Franklin. He was going off the hinges. He was going off the edge. But when yeah. you two in that situation, I'm just saying in that situation. Yeah. I feel like yes. I feel like uh, Franklin needed to be pulled away from himself, but also in the same regard. Y'all, y'all need to be held accountable for y'all actions too. Y'all was right alongside with me, and if it wasn't for me, you, you wouldn't have that three million. Yeah. Million. To leave, to, to know, to, to know just how serious the situation was, and to leave Frank that um, high and dry was crazy to me. Because it's like bro. sissy, you you know the dude. He ain't got no drugs. He's his business is failing. He's got nothing right now, but this money. You shot, you shot him anyway. So all he has left, like so. V, like, you know what's going on. You took all the money and left anyway. Leon, you know I have a baby on the way and my right. business is, is failing. You're not going to give me no money anyway. So then I'm going to go back to Sissy. Like, Sissy, like, she took all the money. I just need the house. You're not going to help me. And, like, you know how how, how serious the situation right. is and you're not going to help me anyway. Right. That that part to me was wild. I was like, that's crazy. And fair, and fair Same thing with Louis. Like, Louis, like, first of all, you know Teddy. Mm-hmm. Like, if he's doing exactly. it to me, why wouldn't he do right. it to you? Like, the man just... The man killed my dad Correct. and took my money. You're not going to help me anyway. Exactly. You're not going to help me. Mm-hmm. I'm not even trying to take the plug. Like, you can sell the drugs you want, but you're not going to tell me where he's at so I can get my money? Right. You're not going to help me? Like, that Like that was crazy to me. Like, I was like, dang. Like, and yeah, he had to pull the gun on and all the other stuff, but it's just like, the fact that, like, the fact that everyone was just so willing to just be like, for Franklin. Facts. Like I, I so just to forget about all his contribution, yeah. Like, to to everybody, to see him end up as a drunk. A lot of people think he's a junkie. Like yeah, he nah, was, he's not a junkie. He was a drunk. He was drunk. I think it was like a, a parallel to his dad. But yeah. like the fact that to see, was, end, yeah. to see him end see him as a drunk, you know, that was that was tough to see, you know. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough to see. And to see that house get taken, it was like you know, it's like, he bro, he made his peace with. It. He's like, this is just and I, is and what I, it and, is. And even when he said like, basically yes, he that's his peace. Now he's free. In a sense, like I don't see that being free. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I don't see becoming an addict and becoming what you despise your father uh, for, and didn't want him to be because, like you said, that was imagery from when Alton was in when it was in the street, kind of a similar scene. So they put everything back in full circle. So I don't feel like that was uh, like ideal freedom for him or yeah. peace. I think a lot you know of it was still pride. A lot and of it was still it was, pride. It was prideful. I, I, I also because Frank is a smart enough dude to figure it out. Smart, just, just and I thought like over. He, he, sh- he should have been pulled away from himself, but also it's a certain point. If I'm Leon, like I understand that money and power is what got Franklin in certain situations, but also money and power is what got you, Leon, that money in certain yeah. situations too. So if I'm if I'm a friend, like I say I am, one of my best friends. If if it's not half a million or half what I got, I'm at least giving five hundred k something. Give, me, give him to something, build man. A give him something to work on, man. Structure and work on. Yes, you can understand uh, what he would probably do with the money, but I don't think that's up to you because also part of that three million, bro. If it wasn't for him, you wouldn't have that, bro. Yeah. You wouldn't even still be out here on the streets because a lot of that stuff with the kid, bro. You couldn't even come outside. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's wild to me that. That's not getting talked about a lot. I like Leon's character. Leon's character yeah. was fire, but also he did some. He, he bro, he was the hitman for for four to five seasons. So yeah. that's not act like. And it's good that he's more totally conscious and all it, that, it, but it's like, yo, man, you could have helped yes, your you man can out. You can't change. You, help, you could have helped your man out in some way. Like I didn't understand his reasoning, saying like I didn't want to disrespect Cece's wishes by right. giving you something no. she wants. Like, I, I, I ain't, I ain't hearing that. That wouldn't respond. Yeah, I ain't hearing. Yeah, that. I would have, I would have respected the response if he was coming from it. And from and what he stated, yeah, like he, I, he I ain't that from my from my mom. Yeah, like I ain't hearing that. And treated me like that's not my mom. 
Yeah, like you I don't like that's like what are you talking about, Leon? Like, but what are you talking about? Like, and then and Sissy was acting like she had no. Sissy, part of Sissy's, in, Sissy's in jail. We, like we could understand change, but also Sissy, you was a part of it as well too. It was a point in time where you said, okay, well this is what it is. This was going to be. You didn't stop him from uh, putting money into charity. You didn't stop him from putting money into the the, uh, the group home. You didn't stop money from putting money into um, the real estate businesses. So. You was you were eating off of that as well too. It only became a problem where when Teddy was saying that they killed Alton, the same mm. Alton. I'm not saying that it's right, but the same Alton that you despised until he came back. Yeah, she also messed up by getting involved with the KGB. You feel me? Like yeah, like, and then you would make things because then because then you ended up getting Franklin in trouble with that. Exactly. It's like come on, man. So it's like, like y'all tried to get this man away from so much trouble too. Y'all kind of hurt, hurt you know, the whole situation. So. And he was trying to get out, but you gotta you gotta with that life you either gotta just not get in or you gotta know when you gotta facts. You gotta get out the right time or just completely distance yourself from all of it. You know. Everybody had their everybody had their part. Yeah. Everybody had that played their part. Teddy doing all of that for white privilege is also crazy. Yeah, that was like you let your dad was, die come on over now. white privilege. Come on now. You were talking about you uh, got burned. You let yourself get burned by all because you wanted to feel powerful. Like you, right. you easily could have given back that money. You just didn't want that to. Was the worst it was a pride that thing. Was the worst reason in Yeah, world. you just you just didn't want to. It was a pride thing with I'm you. Give you half. Like, <laughs> okay. Yeah. But that was great. Great season finale, man. Like you said, it's top five. I don't know why I put it in top five, but for me, yeah, it's, 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 it's it might be up there, man. It's up there. If I like, to think about a five. Sure. I got I got the wire for me. I got uh, Godfather Harlem is in that conversation for me. Snowfall is in that conversation. For Game me. of Thrones is number one Ga- for me. Game of Thrones is in that conversation. Even though it's for me. like a terrible ending. That's in the conversation. I'm always gonna have Fresh Prince in there. Fresh Prince is my favorite show. And I would say Martin. I always gonna have Fresh Prince for me. So you talking about um, shows? And then yeah, especially man. like like those type of shows. Yeah. yeah, I'm a Teen Wolf fan, so I'm a Teen Wolf is probably in my five. A lot of people, a a lot lot of people will probably say like you know people of, of older age say The Sopranos. You know, they, a lot of people would say different things, but I've still never seen The it's Sopranos. In that, it's in that combo. But yeah, I've heard I've heard great things about it's The Sopranos. In, it's in that so. combo, bro. For sure. Well, moving forward, man. Moving forward. All right. What should be free that isn't free? Public okay. transportation. All right, that's a good one. Public transportation, you see a lot of people getting in trouble for uh, the meter Jones and the trains, but I feel like public transportation should be um, the, the most prominent one. I feel like college. Um, it, it's difficult to or say. Or cheaper, it's golly. Di- it's difficult or at least say, books or something but, like that. But I think something should be free in, re- in regards to college. You know, you have certain things that go on with colleges. It is a business, but it, it's free a lot of other places too, you know, because that, that is real. In America, and credit is real. Yes, those are those real two things right there. Yeah, um, no, I would say it's. I know it's far fetched, but healthcare. Yes, you know, at one point it was, but shoot, right? You sure. do presidencies ruin that or whatever. Now. You know, you know how that go. Um, I say also, I had said some some other ones, but like shipping for uh, shipping for certain products. Yeah, I feel like a, a I feel like eggs. I feel like eggs should be free. But you say eggs. Because eggs, because eggs are constant. There, there. It's a thing that can constantly be made. Mm-hmm. Like you, I don't feel like there's ever going to be a shortage. As long as we have chickens, you have eggs. Correct. And I feel like, you know, I feel like anybody can. As long as if eggs are free, you have people who are less hungry. You're correct. Because you can always do something. Something. With eggs. eggs. That's true. You know, and I feel like eggs is like a necessity. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know a household that doesn't have it. Like. Another thing, bro, that's starting to cost money. Grocery bags. <laughs> grocery. All right, come on now. That's like they charge like, for the bags and, and the, the bags and also um, food condiments at restaurants and fast food places. Like, you know, why why do I have to pay extra for barbecue sauce? Yeah, or, or yeah, extra? yeah. Come on now. I don't pay the full. I don't pay the full amount for the meal. Come on now. Listen, they need to do something about these concert tickets too. Oh no, that's nah, I ain't we ain't saying free. But yeah, not free, but no, nah, y'all wow. Oh, Which is crazy because wow. Jay Z already gave people the blueprint of how to like do concert tickets to make them mm-hmm. cheaper, but you can still make your money. So it's like Yeah, they wilding out on concerts. Yeah. It's, it's, it's too many it's too many companies trying to come trying to get their their COVID money back. Cause yeah, people lost money for the pandemic. And it's like, bro, it's over. Like that's you can't get like you can't get that back, bro. Like that's real talk. Like it's nobody's fault a pandemic came. Like mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Now you got HBO Max 
HBO Max starting starting next month in May. They about to start scamming people because they they own. Um, they about to they about to start putting ads on the regular mm-hmm. HBO. Mm-hmm. Then you got to pay for the ad free. Then they got the other thing. It's called Ultimate Ad Free. Like what the heck is Ultimate Ad Free? Like, like I know a scam when I see one. Like what? They trying to add, bro. Everything. Like I know a scam. Like what is what is Ultimate Ad trying Free? To get them dollars back. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like what? They trying to get it to max. I'm like why? Like why? Why? Like HBO is already the most popular streaming app. Mm-hmm. Like you don't need to do this. Like why are we doing this? It's because perfect. As it is, the shows the are great. The fun. no ads is great. Like y'all don't y'all about, oh my gosh. Like I'm so mad. Next month I'm gonna things, be mad. On the flip side of thing, I agree with that, but on the flip side of thing, it's a that's a big market. It is. Now, advertising. What is ultimate ad free though? You said what? What the heck is ultimate ad free? I don't know what that is. Like I know it's I know it's scamming when I see that's, it. That's that's definitely a scam. Ultimate ad free. Like what? Like this ad free word. and then ultimate ad free. Like, the word ultimate to it is crazy. Like, like what? Is, no like sense. ad free is supposed to be ad free. What is ultimate ad free? Because you're telling me my ad free is not completely ad free. It's mm-hmm. not ad free. Now they add ads. You're lying to me. To Netflix, yeah. They about to add ads to Netflix. Yeah, that's next too. It's like, bro, it's it's crazy. Everybody in this market, you know, all, all these streaming services starting to really. It's because nobody's TV. watching TV. Right? That's I why. I was just saying. I was just literally about to say that it's turning to TV. So now it's like, bro. Now nobody's over there. Nobody's seen these advertising bring the dollars. Over See, there. y'all about to y'all about to ruin a good thing, man. Yeah, Cause y'all step, y'all not losing no money. Nah, definitely. Ain't. I don't think y'all definitely. losing money. Y'all just being greedy. Definitely ain't. You ain't lying about that. All right, my special question to you, Brody. This right, is if this is talking, the push the T thing. We just talking about this. Nah, not even that. Oh. We just talking about hip hop. Okay. Is there a difference between ghost writing and writing? So we had this conversation, right? And I'm going to put it in perspective. We were just having this conversation about, uh, I was conversation with Unc and them. But I was talking about, like, writing versus ghost writing. That we moved a goalpost for certain rappers, per se. We were talking about rappers about their writing credits. Because, for example, you have Jay-Z who wrote uh, Still Dre for Snoop and Dre. You have a lot of different, you know, different points where people have wrote for a lot of artists. But we was debating and talking about you know, writing being different in the sense of like you writing a line or two or having writing credits and writing a full song or reference and things of that nature. Mm-hmm. And I just don't, me in my opinion, that's what, what I was saying is that it doesn't matter. I feel like writing just in general for a rapper and how rap was supposed to be in hip hop is supposed to be a sense of authentic and coming from your pen, you know, you're not really an MC or rapper. But also too, in the flip side of things, Who's to say you're not because everybody does it? Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I was saying, and you know, and we were everybody, but you know, some people brought mm-hmm. up Drake, we brought up Kanye, different different points and stuff like yeah. that. So, what do you feel about the the writing credits for rappers or like writing those writers um, for rappers? I feel like sometimes with writing credits, you have to be, you have to. If you're looking, if you're looking at writing credits, you can't always assume that somebody wrote the whole thing, because sometimes if you like give a line or two, you. You get credit for that, Correct. and that's something different. Because people have said, people say Kanye is very gracious when it comes to credits. Mm-hmm. He says if he, like, I think Sai said, if you're in the studio while Kanye's picking the record, he will give you credit. Mm-hmm. And you probably didn't even do that. He said one time he gave the delivery boy, food delivery boy, credit on a song. And maybe because it's maybe because Kanye feels like anything that's happening mm-hmm. is inspiration to him. And if he feels like if you inspired the record, he feels like you should get right. credit. So stuff like that is like you can't always. Because you don't know the extent of the credit. Correct. Um, that's at that point they were making this. Yeah. So, but at the same time, so I get it because like, you know, there's a, there's a certain, you know, a culture and way of doing things in hip hop. So it's like, if you call yourself an MC, that as far as your bars are concerned, you should be writing your bars for you to get credit. Mm-hmm. I do think, um, like as far as goalpost moving, I move it for guys who have 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 established history as credible MCs. Like a lot of people want to remove Kanye's MC card because of the ghostwriting thing. Kanye was has not always had writers. Yeah, For a good That's majority of his years, years Kanye has always wanted to rap. His right. whole thing was about so Kanye has shown that he can rap. Sure. He's a good he's a he's a very good rapper. Mm-hmm. And I think toward later in his career, you know, music is more collaborative. I think Kanye focused more on sound and he ha- he was comfortable with allowing other people to to help with the bar. And I think I think I think we're at a place now where he's lazier with his bar. That's why they don't sound as good. He just lets other people write, and he makes the music. 
Um, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't take that away from all the years of of him penning great verses for himself and others. And also to to what I'm saying too, like to your point, you saying exactly to my point is that they are still rap artists. That doesn't that doesn't take away the credibility of them. Yeah, being rap. there are certain people like who don't the write their own rhymes and like, ever. For example, like for example, Drake. For example, they'll talk about they'll talk, and Drake was a good one. Yeah. But they'll talk about Drake. Drake is an elite rapper, and he's wrote for also other great artists and rappers too as well. So like when we bring up and like that's what we was talking about. When we bring up a reference track and things of that nature. Yeah. I don't think that discredits him because also Drake is a artist too. Yeah. And also even with the Quinn Miller situation, he didn't write the whole song. Yeah. So that that's was just. I, but that's what I'm saying. That's what people get misconstrued. And and my thing is even when you have instances of a rapper. And they also try to they also try to say the weekend wrote all to take care, which is right, not true. Exactly. So it's just like when you have, but also when you have a rapper. Um, of a certain magnitude, we don't sit here and, and say uh, or fault them for having writers. We don't yeah. sit here and fault Snoop Dogg for having uh, somebody else write write, write certain things. Yeah. But we what we'll say that to Drake. But I'm saying that's like it was a key point in the conversation. I'm just like if I just your, feel like the goalposts. If it's your bars, that's certain. one. If it's your bars, is one thing. If it's like bridges and hooks, that's music is a collaborative effort. Correct. You're just supposed to, Correct. you know. So like Jay Z writing a hook. Correct. For Snoop Dogg to um to sing on a song does not take away Snoop Dogg's ability as an MC. Mm-hmm. He didn't write him a verse. Dre is not a is not an MC, so Dre has always had somebody write. Before Jay Z wrote the song, Snoop Dogg was trying to write the verses right. for for Dre Ice and whatnot. Just wrote for Dre. You yeah, so that. you know Cardi B doesn't write her own stuff, so we don't look at those people. Same thing with Lil Kim. I don't think we've ever looked at Lil Kim as as you exactly. know. As a, one of the, yeah. he, she's one of the best female rappers. We've never looked at her as one of the best female like MCs. Correct. There are people you put above her. But also, and the you, same thing. But that's what the Quentin Miller thing is. One of the reasons why I always gave back when back when Meek and Drake were beefing. Mm-hmm. Did Drake win? Yes. But I think a lot of people were people weren't paying attention to just how much you know, just how effective Meek Mill was. Mm-hmm. Because yes, he lost, but he was able to put a chink in Drake's armor that that kind of followed him. And still follows him throughout his career. He was able to take one instance mm-hmm. with one reference track, and now all of a sudden, people have been questioning Drake's pen Correct. from that moment till now. So that's that is off top. But I was like, did Drake win the beef? Yes, but Meek Mill did a whole lot more than what you Correct. think he did. Like, yes, because you adding the uh, adding. Yeah, adding the he did a whole lot more than what you think he to did. What he actually does. Um, but yeah, but the same thing with Drake. Drake is an Drake is an elite writer, you know. And that know. one instance, I don't think I don't think somebody writing something for you one time. And you shouldn't, I don't think, you know, everyone doesn't have the pride. Because even Talib, Talib said, Talib, Talib Kweli was talking about it with um, expert opinion. He was like, you know, my pride, I probably wouldn't, I wouldn't spit something that someone else wrote for me. But the, also, the only thing, the most important thing is the jam. Correct. Exactly. We are here to make the jam. Exactly. And you have a lot of people that can, that can write records but cannot make a hit. Yeah. So it is too So if you call yourself an MC, nobody true. should be writing your verses. For sure. Like... Or it, like it, may, it might happen one time in this one instance, maybe cool, maybe mm-hmm. like, but like you, there needs to be a track. He's saying that with Travis Scott, Travis Scott has writers now, but there was for the beginning part of his career, Travis was writing his own stuff. Mm-hmm. Like that's now, why that's why I don't take it away from guys yeah, who I know can I rap. Dis- I wouldn't diminish the anything. yeah, like I like I know Kanye West can rap. Correct. Like like there's a there's a the, like there's a majority of my life where I listen to this man where it was him mm-hmm. writing every him writing all his verses. For sure. You know, even they was like, "Oh, he didn't write Jesus Walks." No, him and him and um, Ron Fizz co-wrote that mm-hmm. together. He didn't, like it wasn't like Ron Fizz wrote though. They they wrote it together. For sure. So even that's different. So, um, but yeah, like yeah, I think I just, it depends. I like, just, yeah, I, if, I, I, if I you're an MC, that. then yeah, there's a there's a certain type of this is a certain way you do things. Correct. Like it's not like it doesn't take away from what you what you accomplish. Mm-hmm. You just can't sit with us at this table. Correct. If you if you're not out here like penning your own rap verses like you just you just can't sit at the table with 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 the with the with the lyricists with the right. mcs i understand for sure but i feel like it was a good question to ask you yeah especially in regards to hip-hop so lastly would you rather i right, would you rather take a pill that gives you all right a hundred more years a hundred more healthy years all right or a pill that makes you 10 times more intelligent than you already are i take right. intelligence Take intelligence. Yeah, I, 
a hundred more healthy years, it would be nice. It'd be good. It's just not ideal. It's when it's time, my the time to go. It's yeah, my it's time, time to go. go. I would definitely um, agree with you. I would be ten times. Then you got you got to watch times. people you care about die. Mm-hmm. For sure. And then, and then the cycle time. continues because you're not going to die for a long. Yeah. For sure. That's why Wolverine Ray was sick of himself. He was like, bro, you know, people I love yeah, die, and I'm yeah. still sitting here, I'm still here, and it happens history. again, and it for happens sure. again, and it happens again. Like, mm-hmm. and just because you're healthy, don't mean you. You're ultimately going to be happy. Now. Yeah, like that's a lot to, to see. Because at some point you want it to end. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I would want to be just more intelligent, so I can, so I can build, so I can build my foundation and structure. I can do more things with intelligence, right? For sure. Yeah, build man. Infrastructure, be the foundation, build businesses. Shoot, Sky's Jesus, limit. Jesus is coming back anyway. I might not even get to keep all my hundred years. For sure. At least I can do something with my intelligence before you get here. Like that's real talk. That's real talk. <laughs> So I'll take the intelligence for And sure. coming soon And coming soon Let y'all know I might um, Put that a Patreon episode Me and Unc Are doing a battle Jay-Z versus Lil Wayne We're gonna do our Versus battle No word So we're gonna We're gonna do that That's coming up soon Let y'all know I will be filming that It will go uh, Who's Jay-Z on Patreon You uh, know who Jay-Z uh, no. Unc is Jay-Z And I, You already know I got I got Wayne So we're gonna do that 20 for 20 It's gonna be hard To do a 20 So I already got my set. I thought you was gonna but, ask me I thought you were gonna talk About that blasphemy Jim Jones is out here Walking around oh, saying nah, We not I ain't even going I ain't getting that light today Cause I'm, I'm And no disrespect I love Jim Jones But Push T's better than Jim Jones bro. And he's talking, top 50 I'm talking about rapper And, he and he's, he's top, top 50, 50. Let's Let's call a spade a spade Yeah And his criteria Is not It's, it's not a good criteria it doesn't work for everybody. Yeah, he and, and even some of the things he was like, they pushed never done. Like he had done those things. No way ever wanted to be like push. Yes, they yes they did. Yeah, yeah, he has he has a catalog. <laughs> yeah, people did want to be like push. For Drake sure. has a whole autograph microphone. Yeah, like, I was saying. And, and before that beef and that squabble, he he's yeah. respect, he still respects him. I feel like as a definitely a rapper. It was one of his favorite rappers. Yeah, too. even like Lil, Lil Wayne originally got got gotten his style from Pharrell and pushing him with the Bape stuff. Like there were people who wanted to be like yeah, pushing T. They had an influence. Yeah, right. like that's not that's not. But even still, like that's not that's not a criteria for everybody. Like by your logic, Common's not top fifty, and I wish somebody would tell me Common isn't yeah. top fifty. Common says it's easy. Yeah, like. Sure. But yeah, like that. I was just like, and then he doubled. Ah, I'm just doubled, glad you didn't ask me. I was just like. Down. For real. I was but like, come on, Jim. Like and I like Jim Jones. That's but this is like, come soon, bro. We're going we're going to open this Patreon, have some exclusive episodes, different type of conversation, more in-depth uh sports conversations and also more in-depth hip hop entertainment conversations cuz that's kind of what we really love to talk about too, but y'all going to have to pay that $5 fee, man. Facts. So, we're going to get that on Patreon coming soon, man. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe Thursday 5 p.m. Eastern time. See you guys.